Welcome back. So yeah, we're going to take on the boss fight. Uh, we've got a different team comp than usual because I did notice this has more uh, minions that look just based on the visuals like they are not going to have stress bars for us to stress away at. So it would probably be a disaster if we brought our other team. Although we might just like one thing you can do is I realized the guy, the last boss we fought on the Dwarven Tunnels uh, had... Uh, super high resistances and uh, armor, but that affects physical and magic damage, not stress damage as far as I know. So even if they have this, you, like stress might be a uh, decent way for some bosses, but we're going to bring our other team here. We have options, like we could have brought a Dampier as well or something, we could have mixed it up, but I'm just going with the team comp we've used before. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. What did we have our... As far as artifacts, yeah, this is pretty good. We'll get a uh, artifact at the end of this as well, guaranteed. Uh, let's go. All right, monster hunting is a pretty difficult job, chiefly due to the fact that the damn blighters are becoming quite rare in this day and age. The monster slayer has lived for so long that he has since switched to hunting more humanoid targets as they are more plentiful and pay just as well. However, that does not mean that he has gotten rusty. Retirement may be just a hundred years away now, but until then he can cut up abominations with the best of them. And it turns out the switch from slaying living, breathing humans to the undead is not a particular difficult one. To battle. Yep, no stress burns, although he does. He's shining up, oiling up his sword. Uh, every successful attack removes all buffs from the target. Can't be removed. Alright. Uh, source of Wrath, Source of Vigor, and Source of Magic. And they can't be killed either. They don't even have health bars. Alright. This is going to be annoying. This is going to be annoying. Magic, Vigor, and Wrath. And he doesn't escape, obviously. That would be funny if the boss just ran off. Performs an additional action after each minion turn. He's an alien ruler. Uh, ignition, curse, and spider venom effects trigger only in main turn. So, yeah, you can't just curse and ignite him. And holy shit, he's got almost a thousand health. Alright, let's see what we've got here. We might just Mystic Fortitude here. It's a fair bit of damage, but that's fine. This can't hit. This can't hit. We can't remove his buffs anyway. Yeah, let's just go ahead and protect. You're probably squishiest, so we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Off to a strong start. He can't even hurt us. Uh, we could start off with a stun, since he's going to go after every turn. That won't be super effective. Maybe we just give everyone uh, plus attack. I think that's good. If he keeps hitting the skeleton, uh, I don't think we need to crescendo here. So yeah, let's just go deafening whale to make everyone's attacks more effective in the future. Okay, mist and ward. All right, and let's see what we got. We could immediately hunger, of course. Oh, it doesn't use an action, so we should do this no matter what. It increases, I think, our crit something too. Uh, critical hits deal more damage, yeah. We can go Blood Strike, Mesmerize, Rage, target loses percent of its vigor. All attacks against the target ignore both block and ward until the battle ends. Target loses 40% accuracy. Unfortunately that does push us forward. Uh, we do have ways to go back though too, so yeah, I think we will play a little bit of shuffle because we do want to use rage here uh, But I think we grand aspects first to remove some of his stuff and Make him easier to hit in the future. Wait, doesn't that shouldn't that? Oh, it ignores. That's right. It doesn't remove uh, We could go ahead and just deal a shit ton of damage right off the bat here um not a bad idea, but let's go ahead and gain more damage, because then we'll be able to do even more. Yeah, and we can hit him in any position, so... 
I shouldn't jinx it, but so far I don't think this is going to be a tough fight. I think we have the tools. Is, is this different oil? Because he already had oil to blade. Huh, I don't know. Uh, let's just keep Mystic Fortitude up on Banshee. She's the weakest. Still hit her anyway, but that's fine. Alright, uh... You have, still have Deafening Whale. You do not. So yeah, let's Deafening Whale again. We could also scoot back, but I don't want to bump him. We could also debuff, of course. But yeah, I think we just Deafening Whale again to keep... Uh, you know, actually, maybe that wasn't right, because it only hits the Vampire. Alright, good. Uh, we can Savage Bite deals decent damage with the crit as well. We could also just start moving backwards. Deals less damage but moves us towards the back. Because yeah, I want to be able to use Rage. It's current Vigor, unfortunately, so any damage we do is actually counterproductive here. But, oh yeah. Wait, I thought... I thought... I thought we removed his block. I thought we made it so that they'll never get uh, hit. 200%. Let's just keep more powder. Yeah, I'm not sure why we hit the block there. I thought we re I thought we ignored block entirely. Whoa! All right, this is a problem. Why does he keep? Oh, that's different oil. Oh, so whatever like stone is active or something, all minions restore vigor equal to 75% of the damage dealt to source of vigor. Oh, so you can target these guys. I just thought because they didn't have a hearth health bar, you couldn't do anything. I'm glad I'm checking the passives here. Uh, we can restore mana if we deal damage to the source of magic. We can restore vigor if we deal damage to source of vigor. Uh, can't be target of spells though. And we can restore wrath uh, if we deal damage to source of wrath. All right, so we're gonna want to hit source of vigor at some point. But yeah, I thought Grand Aspects, all attacks against the target ignore both block and ward till the battle ends. See, I'm not sure why that didn't work. Maybe he got rid of it somehow and we didn't notice. Um, and I don't, yeah, that doesn't stack. I think we move back one more time so we can use other stuff. Yeah, so yeah, let's go ahead. This time we should actually be able to do some damage. We crit there too, which heals us. That's good. Okay, that's fine. I think. Okay, it actually reduces our outgoing damage, which is bad. And you, Mystic Fortitude. Just, yeah, it gives us more armor too. But yeah, he's... Okay, good. We're tanky enough where it didn't hurt us too badly. Um, deafening Whale, you still have Deafening Whale, you don't, so we'd just be hitting that. We could also, you can't do it from this position, unfortunately. Uh, this will remove Ward, right? Oh! Did she just get a big ass heal from that? Because that counts as damage too. So yeah, I think we got damage, mana, and uh, everything from doing AoE here. And we're going to want to hit with the vampire first. So let's go uh, even more powder powder here. Uh, and I don't think there's anything we want to use. Yeah, even more powder. So we're beef beefing up. It'd be funny if we like one shot. Oh, okay, that's fine. What did you do? Less damage. He's boiling up again. All right. Uh, all right. I think we'll do this again because it uh, heals up and everything. Yeah. Very nice. So yeah. Unless he like one shots us, this should be a pretty easy fight. We might have to. Okay. Let's go ahead and rage here. So this will do. Uh, fifteen percent of his current, which is max. This is gonna be. 124, pretty decent. Oh yeah, 
this guy's gonna have to take a break to hit everything, I think. Stress damage did seem to work, but I'm not sure if it was just on... See, so I'm not sure how the heal works exactly, but this deals most damage, so hopefully it's... Yeah, yeah, this should deal most damage. Unless I'm completely misreading it. But yeah, hopefully it's worth sacrificing that uh, 14 armor uh, and resistance. Let's see how this works. This could be bad. Removes all buffs from the target, but they can't be removed. Yeah, let's see. This should heal us to the It didn't, unfortunately. Oh, God. Okay. We can deal a shit ton of damage here. Do we want to is the question. How are we? Uh, even more powder is stacked to three. Mechanic lame is stacked to... And is that even what we want to use it on? Probably, since this isn't guaranteed to hit. Uh, I just don't know. Do we try for one more? I wish we could do something about this. We also want to... That's physical damage. This is magic damage, though. Ugh. See, maybe you can't attack from the back line? I don't know. I'm worried my uh, skeleton's gonna die here. We should have maybe physical attacked the source of vigor. I don't know. I thought it would heal because our ban Banshee was healing, so I'm not quite sure uh, why. Ugh, this sucks. But yeah, we could go for a big hit here. We could start to attack, or we could just keep buffing. I think we'll take the extra 100% damage. Let's just hit once more with the vampire as well. Don't kill skeleton! You more killed skeleton. Will come. You bastard! What did you do this time? Same thing. All right. Uh, oh, and you are now in a position where you can't use your ability. And cool, you can still use your ability. Uh, so yeah, that's unfortunate. You can't use rage unless you're in the back line now or grand aspects. Not that we need that one. So I guess we just start savage biting. Sure. 46 only, why? Oh yeah, I forgot to get the turn, okay. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and move you back so you can debuff, I think. Actually, we no, do you, st you still have deafening the whale. All right, all right, let's go ahead and move you back, debuff. So yeah, it claimed to be healing her. I'm not sure why my skeleton didn't heal when I did very similar things, but it is what it is. We didn't need him anyway. We can do 600 damage, which is almost his entire thing. I think that's better than attacking four times. This does more damage, but we can obviously hit these. So I think now is as good a time as any to... Unless... He might have heals or something. Let's see if we can just... Well, he hasn't healed yet. But yeah, we could go one more turn and try to one-shot him. I think we will. I think we will. If he moves forward, maybe we stun him too. Ooh, okay. What's the debuff? Physical damage reduced. We're gonna want to debuff, or dispel that. Uh, let's go ahead, Savage Bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can't. Source of magic or vigor, both are useless to us. Uh, we could blood strike, but that would put our banshee in the front. But we could always move them again. Uh, I don't think we debuff in case we need, or dispel in case we need it. So yeah, let's do a little bit more damage no, here. That's gonna leave a mark. Crit 62, that's fine. Stop. So I'm glad we saved the dispel because uh, he's uh, in bad shape. Uh, do we want to hit here? You still have, yeah, you still have the Deafening Whale and it doesn't stack. Uh, we could hit for the stun here. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, taking a beating. 
All right, now we're gonna dispel. Ooh, yeah. He was recovering Pain health based magic. on damage dealt there too. All right, so we can do 700 essentially. So yeah, this should basically one shot the remainder of his health. Hopefully he doesn't have any tricks up his sleeve. This could be cool. Haha! <laughs> 700, well, so 691 damage. We got an achievement there as well. We lost our skeleton. That's unfortunate. Not too terribly upset. Oh, and especially since we got two of the Jester Visages back. So yeah, that's uh, nothing, nothing to worry about. It was one of our original min minions, but that's fine. And we got a bunch of stuff. We got a Vulture's Feather. Minion receives luck. Accuracy and evasion when an ally dies. Don't really care. We got another bone that gets us progress towards the bone golem unlock. We got an insurance deal. After a battle ends, there's a 25% chance that killed minions will revive. That's not bad. Minions made up of four uncommon parts or more gain additional 20% vigor during battle. That's pretty good. Okay, and we got, she healed up, we got all our normal stuff as well as an artifact. Unlocks the secret destruction spell. Crush bones. Deals double damage if the minion is already, if the target is already stunned, cool. All right, let's get our regular team back in here, which involves taking you, whoops, uh, taking you out of the healing spot, and you guys out of the thing there, and do we just put the entire team in here? I think so. What were we doing before? Oh yeah, we did have a skeleton leveling. That's fine. We can, if we... If we want, we can put a skeleton in with a brain at some point. We have plenty of brains to need to use as backup. So yeah, that's fine. We can't level there. Can't level there. So yeah, we need Bone Golem and Ghoul and Blood Phantasm and Ghoul. We're close to the Blood Phantasm. We're kind of close to the Bone Golem. And here we need another Bone Golem. What did... Oh, we need the Vampire and Dampier and Lich here. We don't really use a whole lot of mana. We'll we'll do that before the game is over for sure, just for the achievement. Yeah, we're we're kind of cruising. That was a fun boss fight. It's unfortunate they did kill our dude though. All right, here we could go more luck or sorry, more accuracy. I think so. And here we'll save for dread, right? Could also go accuracy. Now we'll just save for dread. All right, that should do it. Let's check out the next floor. Buried just beneath the surface of the catacombs, the dark secret of the J buried just beneath the surface are the catacombs the dark secret of the order here they train mages so they can conduct sinister and dangerous experiments it was always meant to stay a secret but recent necromancer troubles have let knowledge of this place to slip into the public making matters worse is that the mages were never expecting an attack from below let alone that the attacker would be undead the Grand Magister made his judgment. Instead of standing with the sorcerers, he sealed their tunnels and called back his paladins to the highest level in order to prepare defense. The spellcaster would fend for the, the spellcaster would fend for themselves in the face of Ratus, where they will either prevail or buy the Grand Magister some time to focus his uh, muster his veteran knights for a decisive battle against the forces of liberated evil. All right, I'm not sure why I can't read there, but we're good. Uh, so yeah, catacombs and then cathedral. So it sounds like we'll be fighting paladins in the cathedral. Hi, kitty. Uh, we're getting there. So yeah, uh, bones, so yeah, about the same. Should we start doing damage to our own units? I think we've seen the lich can deal damage to their own units. The We already know the lost soul can. Should we swap lost soul in for something? Our team comp currently is working so well, but... 
we could try to deal some damage to our own units along the way. Headhunter? I forget, did you... I think you did... Um... You did some random damage to everyone or something. Yeah. Kills an ally. Deals magic damage to all allies and enemies except itself. Sets targets on fire for two turns, dealing magic damage. Summon the skeleton. Pretty cool. So yeah, we could build like lost souls and witches and stuff and run a team with them. We might at some point, but for now let's stick with our main team here. Alright, interesting little thing. I can't tell if those guys are armored or automatons or something, so we'll see if the stress comp works against them. Hi kitty! Bumping my mic. Let's see, where's, where's the mic? We don't want the mic in this shot. That should be fine. Yes. Say hello to the kitty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right. Anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's do it. So yeah, we'll bring the stress comp against our first team, and then we'll have to figure out which way we're going to go. Uh, let's do it. Uh, let's see. How's our time looking? Yeah, we'll go ahead and call this episode there and be right back with the next floor. Checking this floor out, I should say. All right, thanks for watching. Be right back. Peace.